great. How great is our God. So great that he can do anything but fail. Uh huh. Why should I be discouraged? All right. Why should the shadow come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven?
So to know Jesus and to know peace is very important. But at the same time, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but wickedness, principalities, evilness, and heavenly places. And the one that we deal with is not only the father of lies, but he knows us. Mm. Yes. And his desire is to sift us like wheat. Yes. Mm. Yes. Say that. Say that. And the one way he goes about doing that is to try to confuse us. And when we hear things, we need to get down to the depth of them. We need to find the meat of them. We need to find out the truth of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Because see, that's what Jesus is all about. The reason he wants us to know him is so that we will know the truth. That we will understand the truth. That we will discern the truth. Mm -hmm. So when the lion comes seeking who he may destroy, well, we can look at him and say, be gone from me, mm -hmm. ye workers of iniquity, because, hey, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. And I got no time for you. It's so important that we recognize today is a day that we need to know. We need to understand. Because contrary to popular opinion, Jesus is coming soon. Yes, and his desire is that we go with him. And as I said a lot of times, guys, I ain't been on this highway long. I've been on it long, but I ain't been on this highway long. <laughs> because I like a lot of people. I went to church every Sunday. We go to Sunday school. We all were required, especially from the old school. <laughs> and then play that <laughs> So guess what? We developed a habit of playing church. We went so we wouldn't get in trouble. <laughs> we went so that guess what? We could get something from mama, dad, grandmama, granddaddy would be nice to us. <laughs> Tell the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> we got good at playing church. <laughs> so really, we knew Jesus, but we had no Jesus. Mm. No Jesus. Mm. And along the way. Unfortunately, because we play church, hmm. our kids pay more attention to what we do than what we say. Mm. What we say. Mm. And we come on a highway now that we look out and we see all these things perpetrating, and we see no Jesus, hmm. no hmm. peace. Yeah. But you know what? The greatest thing about God is. That he has a plan. Amen. Amen. And at any point in your life, guess what? You can pick up and take a hold of his plan. Mm. And as you take a hold of his plan, guess what? You get to know Jesus. You get to know peace. Mm. So you know a joy. Because you know Jesus. If you know Jesus, you know mercy. If you know Jesus, you know compassion. If you know yes. Jesus, you know meekness. If you know yes. Jesus, you know long suffering. Yes. yes. So we can begin to exemplate those things that we're not. And more importantly, we develop trust. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Young people, very important. Oh, trust. Man. Confidence or faith in a person or a thing. And to have confidence or faith to believe and to expect and to and trust and depend on. Yes. So important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because today, I do a program in the school to encourage kids to greatness. And you know what I've learned? Is our kids have two sets of friends. Mm -hmm. They have friends that they're hanging out with, and then they have what they call inner circle friends. Teach that. Right. Teach that. Right. Teach it. The inner circle friends got their ear. Teach it. Teach it. And it's so important that one of our friends be Jesus. Amen. Because without a doubt, we can trust him. Oh, yes. 
We can have faith in him. Yes. We can believe in him. And more importantly, without a doubt, we can know that whatever he says, mm -hmm. we can stand on. Mm -hmm. We can have confidence. Mm -hmm. We can know that without a doubt, that we can do anything he says. Amen. And we're going to be all right. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. You know, oh, yes. sounds like a mom and dad yes. in a lot of ways, don't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A good mom, a good dad, guess what? That's why we got parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. But again, just like when we play church, we have parents that are not parents. I do mentoring in school. And I'm here to say the last five or six years, most of my students I have a mentor, they got two parents. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because we don't know Jesus. Mm. And we don't have no peace. And guess what? Children are raising children. Yes. Because their parents don't have what they need to have peace, to have joy, to have love, to be able to instill that into their parents, yes. into their kids. Yes. I tell my wife all the time, don't hold me to how you marry me. Because what <laughs> I brought to the table was what I learned. But as I get older, yes. as I learn more, yes. as I become wiser, smarter, better, yes. guess what? Well, now she can start operating off of that Charles Phillips. Yeah. 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 That's all right. Because she's getting a better product. Why? Because she's working along with me. She knows what she likes. She knows how she likes to be treated. And guess what? Yes. Contrary yes. to public opinion, yes. if I love her, I want to please her. Amen. Yes. Amen. You see, if we love Jesus, we want to please him. Yes. Right. Yes. Think about it. I love the Bible because guess what? God's stories are so fantastic. Oh, yes. mm. oh, yes. Think about Joseph. Here's a man that for almost 30 years persecuted. Mm. Almost felt like he forgot about him. Guess what? He, he had a vision from God. But it wasn't no timetable on it. God said, this is what I'm going to do. Mm. <clears throat> Think about the stuff he went through before he got to that. Before he became all that God said he was going to do. Can you imagine how much trust it took? Oh, yes. How much confidence he, he had to have in what God was and who he said he was? Mm. And the Bible teaches us that Jesus is the Word made flesh. So guess what? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. It's God Himself. Mm -hmm. yes. Shadrach, Meshach, me, Shadrach, and Abednego. Oh, Boom. Yes. You're standing in front of a furnace that's heated up seven times hotter. Yes. 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 Listen to the words of peace, yes. mm. confidence. Mm. Yes. King, let me tell you something. Here today, we let you know right now that we ain't bowing down to your idol. Mm. Now, we know that God can deliver us, but whether or not that's the case today, we ain't worried about it. All right. We know that, guess what? In any way, form, or fashion, He's going to be glorified, and we're going to be glorified with Him. Mm -hmm. Because we're doing what He asked us to do. Daniel, love that story. After the decree was made, the man opened his window mm. to Jerusalem, prayed three times. Mm. Okay. Look at Paul, one mm. of the greatest apostles that was. And guess what? Here's a man that in his life, he actually was killing the Christians, imprisoning them. But he thought he was serving who? God. When he got the right information, hmm. when he got everything corrected, when he got the knowledge and the understanding of who he was, unfortunately, to get knocked off his horse. <laughs> but let me tell you something. One of the greatest men of God there were, has ever been. Because guess what? He loved Jesus. Mm -hmm. He loved him, and his only desire was to please him. 
We look out at our church and we see a lot of our ladies in here. And we can tell that they're loved. Why? Because guess what? They're smiling. They're happy. You hear them when they speak? They speak good of their husband. They reverence them. Why? Because they're being reverenced. It's so important that we recognize that Jesus came for one specific reason. And that reason was to do his father's will. Yeah. And his will was that no one should perish. And he set forth by going to the cross to make that happen. Our job now is to continue that tradition. Is to continue that mission. Is to do everything we can to make sure that God is glorified. Yes. Amen. Does your life glorify him today? Mm. When people see you, do they see Jesus? Do they see the kindness, the compassion, the devotion? Do they see someone that will go out of their way to help someone in need? Because I'm here to tell you, I do encourage kids to greatness in Carterville, and it's almost scary sometimes because I feel like our society has gotten so busy, just in Bartow, just in Bartow County. That they've gotten so busy that they don't, don't have time to encourage the future. Well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And guess what? All we got to do is turn on TV nowadays and we see where all the crime is. Mm -hmm. It used to be old, but it ain't no more. Mm -hmm. And I understand that in many homes, they're not getting what they need. Amen, amen, amen. But you know what, guys? I'm telling you, like as always, God has a plan, and he knew where we were going to be this day and this time. Amen. Amen. All right. Are you a part of God's plan? And I'm not saying that being in a school, mentoring, or being over at the hospital, or being all these places, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is, are you in tune to what God wants you to do? All right, all right. And if he asks you to go into school and mentor, will you? Yes. All right. Yes. If he asks you to go to the prison house yes. and talk to the prisoners, are you willing? Because, see, whether it's going into a jailhouse or whether it's going down to the school or down on the street corner or under the bridge or whatever that might be a five hot seven times hotter uh-huh and can you say today i'll go not because i want to go but because you asked me to go yes it's so important because I have a song that I sing, people get ready. Because mm -hmm. our Savior's coming. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He's coming for children yes. that have been washed in the blood. Mm -hmm. He ain't coming here because you've been going to church all your life. He ain't coming here because you, guess what? You're trying to make grandmom and granddaddy happy by being in the church. He ain't coming just because you're on the side of your bed praying at night. He ain't coming because you say a little prayer every now and then before you eat your food. <laughs> All right. All right. He's coming for somebody who has been washed in the blood. Oh, yes. 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 That love him, that are obedient to him, that are willing to do whatever it takes to please him. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. That's sometimes I want to hide my wallet, but guess what? If my wife needs something, I'm going to get it for her. <laughs> and Jesus the same way. If you need something, he's going to get it for you. He's already got it set up. Do you realize that we live harvest today simply because we won't ask, mm -hmm. we won't knock, as we talked about in Sunday school this morning. A lot of people just want a handout. Right. And that ain't about Jesus. I guarantee you, if Reverend Powers 
don't put forth the effort and do what God asks her to do, guess what? She can stand up here and she can say all she want to say. All he need you to do is have one bad thought. He said, I work with that person. Let me see if I can give him a no. And no. And no. But you know what? That's the beautiful part about the gospel. Because it's a choice. You can choose this day who you will serve. Yeah. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all that you have need of shall be added. Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, all we got to do is seek first the kingdom. Yes. And the greatest part about that, once you do that, God will help you do everything else. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. I'm here to tell you, Amen. You, don't have to, you don't have to want for nothing. Anything you need, the strength, yes. the witness, the strength to pray the right prayer, mm -hmm. that's what the Spirit is for. That's why Jesus said, if I don't go back, the comforter won't come. Mm -hmm. He had to go back. You know why? So the comforter could come. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So that we could show love, joy, mercy, compassion, right. meekness. We could show all those fruits mm -hmm. that the Spirit brings. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes it's hard to love on people. Yes. But you know what? Jesus makes it easy. Yes. So in closing, I simply say, today is a day for you to make God your friend. For his desire is that you should know him and that y'all should walk together in this life and call each other friends. That as you need him to do for you, you can come and say, you know, Jesus, I really could use your help with this. Mm -hmm. I've actually tried it my own way, but guess what? I didn't work like I figured it wouldn't, but guess what? Here I am. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? We all got, as they say, a free will, mm -hmm. and that free will want to act up. <laughs> and he wants to try to do it its way. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Jesus is standing right there saying, come unto me. All ye that are heavy laden and burdened down, and I'll give you rest. 